Hey everybody, it's Vids. So today I'm going to show you my Elvis CD collection, part two. So you remember my past video of showing my Elvis CD collection? That was part one. Now I'm showing you part two of this collection. Different CDs, but from the same collection of mine. So the first one I got is How Great Thou Art. Um, this is an original uh, CD from the 90s. Because um, in the 90s they were doing originals um, CDs from RCA. And I got this. I got this recently. I found this at a second hand music shop. So it was pretty cool. Um, found it at a second hand music shop. So this is second hand, still in great condition. So, um, see, uh, look. Nothing, nothing on it. Not even a little smudge when I got it. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, I just love this album. Like, great songs. Like, <sighs> if you want to take a break from listening to Elvis's rock music that we hear all the time, I recommend you listen to this. How Great Thou Art. Great album. Just love, just love it. All the gospel songs. It's awesome. I just, I highly recommend this CD. It's awesome. I just love it. So, and this is, um, there's the, there's the songs that are on there. And, and there's this, and there's the lyrics to the songs. So, so, yeah. So, what was how great thou art? CD. So, <laughs> next one I got is Guitar Man. This, this, this is pretty cool. Listen to it. It's not the originals. They made the backing tracks sound more country. But. And then, if the songs that they made the song sound more country. So that was pretty cool. Not my favorite Elvis remix stuff, but still pretty cool. It is good. So. Um. Nah. Nothing really. So it's good. This came out in 88. 88 or 82, I think. So, yeah. Guitar Man. <laughs> the next one is a movie double feature. This came, these came out in 1995. Um, this, this one is, um, Easy Come, Easy Go and Speedway. So this is pretty cool. Um, so it has... It ha it's a movie double feature with Easy Come, Easy Go and Speedway. And I think it has this um, stuff. It has the soundtrack songs. It even has on the Speedway, Nancy Sinatra, your groovy self. Wasn't even Elvis singing. But... Yeah, it's pretty cool. I know they had other ones. I know they had one with Kiss and Cousins, Clam Bank and Stay Away Joe, and Frankie and Johnny and Paradise and Wine Style. Maybe another one. I 
just don't remember what it was. Thought I knew before. I thought I'd found out at some point, but now I don't remember. But they're all movie double features. Yeah, this is great. These are great CDs. These movie double features. I like, I like the his movie soundtracks. I think they're cool. Sorry, sorry to a lot of people that don't like um, Elvis's movie soundtracks that are watching out there. I'm sure there might be some of you out there that don't like them. I'm not trying to upset you or anything, but I do like Elvis's soundtracks. So. And then the next one is uh, Elvis Blue Moon. So, I know it has some of picture, but it's 50 songs. Like, I'll read some out to you. Love Me Tender, Blue Moon, Tutti Free. I was the one. Me and Mom and Blues. I beg of you, baby, I don't care. Good rockin' tonight. I forget to remember to forget. Baby, let's play house. I've got a woman, heartbreak hotel. Treat me nice, I'm left, you're right, she's gone. Got a lot of eleven to do. Oh, she cut. No, they're all 50s ones. The al In my opinion, this album's good, but... Just don't like... I don't like the song. Like I said in my first video where I was saying my least favourite Elvis songs for the King's Court contest, it's just... The, uh, the high pitch is horrible. Um, just used to scare me and stuff. So, I think the album's good, but the song is not that good. And then the next one is... Elvis in his own words. This is not singing or anything, it's just him talking. This was released in 2002 for the 25th anniversary of a death. So there's two discs. This is the first disc. Sorry for the light on these ones that show the reflection. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool to hear him talking. We hear him singing a lot. It's cool to hear him talking. And then, this is the second disc. Um, it's cool. Um, so. Yeah. I like this. Okay, so. Elvis in his own words. These two are legacy two CD sets. They are. Let's see. First one is Elvis Country. Um, this is cool. Um, it has has the country release and the love letters from Elvis. I like this. I think it's great. Love the albums a lot. I think they're great. But that just, uh, the, that's just me. Kind of think they weren't as big as they should have been. Uh, they just weren't. But I think they could have been bigger than what they were.
Oh, I like it. I enjoy it. Really cool. Elves Country Legacy Edition. Um, this is another Legacy Edition. Elvis at Madison Square Garden. This is good. It includes um, the Elvis. The Elvis is recorded at Madison Square Garden, original 1972 album from during his life, and as you can see, it also includes the An Afternoon in the Garden CD. So, yeah, they're both cool. Um, I love the Afternoon Show. Um, I think they're better than the Evening Show. I think someone I saw on YouTube, maybe it was Hayes Vinyl Review or The King's Court. It was definitely one of them, but um. I forgot which one it was. It was definitely one of them. And they said the afternoon show was better than the evening show. I could agree with that. I think if by the evening, Elvis was, Elvis was starting to get a bit tired and stuff. So so that's why the evening, the afternoon show might be better than the evening show. There's the booklet. Great pictures of Elvis and Madison's Great Garden, and there's the track listing. There's the back, which I heard was the back of the vinyl. Original vinyl, I think. So, yeah, pretty cool. One of my favorite concerts by any singers. Really. Not kidding. Really. It's one of my favorite concerts by any singers, not just Elvis. Just need to get this booklet back in. Madison Square Garden. And then there's then there's this is a bit of a different CD. Elvis Christmas album with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. Good. It's a good one. I enjoy it. But I like the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra ones. I think they're great. I just really enjoy them. They're great with Elvis. And those are they did another one with um Buddy Holly with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, like a year later other than this. Um and they, and I've been thinking about getting that because I'm a Buddy Holly fan too and I'm sure a lot of you Elvis fans out there might know and like Buddy Holly um, but I do too and but I think the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra would be great with Elvis here's the picture of Elvis's Graceland in this booklet there's like a little message from Priscilla there it is The songs. And these are Christmas letters saying Merry Christmas to all from Elvis and the Colonel. Um, because that's because Elvis used to send out Christmas letters to the world, I think. And these are the Christmas let some of the Christmas letters that he sent out. So pretty cool. I like how they're in that booklet. So 
So it obviously it's Christmas album with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. Ah. Oh, next I've got a lot of bootlegs from his 70s era. In my opinion, the 70s were the best Elvis era. He was awesome in the 70s. But this one is called A Bright Midnight with Elvis. This is... I believe it was from the Elvis just the way it is time. This is from... August 20th, 1970. May have been one of the Help Us That's The Way It Is shows. But it sounds great. Really love the show. So, pretty cool. So, A Bright Midnight with Elvis. This is... These bootlegs are kind of rare now. I felt, kind of feel sorry that people... Other people can't hear these great shows. But, but it is what it is. So, and this is um, Elvis May 1st, 1976 at Lake Tahoe. This was actually recorded by a fan in the audience who bought a tape recorder to the show. But, and they, 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 they put it on this CD. So, great songs in here. Those songs, heard the songs, pretty cool. Uh, Candid Elvis on camera. This one's so old doesn't even play anymore. Um, I tried to play it like five or six times and it doesn't work. It doesn't work on any devices. St stereo or anything. It doesn't work on anything but this is of his last concert. See the pictures of his last concert. That's on the disc, but, um, they're, they're from the disc, but I, I know there was just a normal CD release of this called Elves in Concert. I could get that, but I just don't have it. So this is all I got of his last concert. And, oh. I just while well, I was grabbing it I just it just fell hold on a second so this is um, Elvis all things are possible this is from January 26 1971 Yeah, there's great songs on here. It was great. Elvis was great at that time of that time. I I think he had his best voice from '68 to '75. Yeah. So. Oh. Somehow it fell, fell out. Elvis, all things are possible. Great. Some of these bootlegs aren't great recordings, but this is a great recording. Um, this was released on Regular CD somewhere. I knew the name of the Regular CD. It wasn't All Things Are Possible, I remember, but it. But I do remember um, they had it on Regular CD, but I just don't remember the name. All I remember is it definitely wasn't All Things Are Possible, like on the bootleg. So, that's my Elvis CD collection part 2. I will get to a part 3 or 4. So, bye!